Hello, everybody. This is the first installment of our internship spring spotlight, part of our virtual internship series of spotlights featuring our partners to introduce internships coming up for the spring. Yes, it's fall, but guess what? Deadlines start and open, open enrollment and deadlines start this fall of 2024 for spring of 2025. So to kick us off, I'm gonna introduce our partners here on this wonderful virtual event. T-Mobile, our special guests, Lauren Satterwhite and Ms. Lacey Craig. How are you guys doing? Hi, good, how are you doing? Good, 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 good. And then I also wanna bring on my beautiful, wonderful right hand, my sister, Ms. Bianca Brown, if she's ready. <laughs> This is all a part of our NCRF team. We're here to support you. So let's get started. How are you guys doing? And what do you guys have for us? Awesome. Well, thanks for having us. Lauren and I work on the military and diversity recruiting team here at T-Mobile, and we support the internship team. Um, we're very excited to share today because we actually have been recognized as one of the top internship companies in the country um, for the past couple years, we offer hundreds of internships when they come up. Our internships are going to be posting um, October, November timeframe for applications closing um, by February. So definitely right around the corner, just like you talked about. I love it. I love it. So what can we expect in working for T-Mobile? Yeah. So, you know, we have a variety of different roles that we um, open up in our internships. We have uh, departments that support like our marketing, engineering, finance, human resources, information technology, sales, customer service, our diversity, equity, and inclusion team. Um, our internships are really designed to help provide the candidates with a valuable experience and insights into that field while working um, in a dynamic environment. We offer them at different locations throughout the country. So different um, corporate locations, you're gonna learn a lot, you're gonna meet a lot of people, a lot of opportunity, you'll get exposed to different systems, different processes. Um, and Lauren was actually part of our internship team. So um, Lauren, I'll go ahead and let you just shed a little bit of light about what that experience was for you and, and what other interns can expect. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Lauren. And the internship program is awesome. You get to collaborate with a lot of other interns um, and build a network there. And on top of that, it's hands on. Right. So you're given a project at the very beginning of your internship and you're able to work on that project for 12 weeks. Um, and then present it to a leadership group um, and kind of pitch this idea that you've been working on, this project you've been working on all summer, all spring, and really showcase your talents, your weakness, or your strengths, and, um, you know, put yourself out there uh, for an opportunity to hopefully convert full time. Um, but it's fun. You get to do a lot of activities on the side, too. Uh, we do an annual baseball game we get to go to. It's National Internship Day, so they give you all this kind of swag and gear. Um, and there's just a lot of fun things. There's small little parties that happen, um, a lot of networking sessions. So it's a great experience um, to join. And I had a lot of, when, a lot of fun. In your experience at T-Mobile, how did you find that, you know, coming from college, is it intimidating to be around such highly professional people, especially if your major is maybe a different major that's outside of technology or telecommunications? What can you say to a person who is undeclared, undecided, or uh, maybe pick the major, but doesn't know if that's going to be a right fit? Absolutely. So I was actually a case where I studied journalism. However, I wanted to do something in the creative space, right? Like commercials, ads, but I decided to take a shift into HR, something very different, something outside my comfort zone. And I really think it paid off because you get to learn something different, something new, and you're able to bring your talents that you learn from your undergrad or whatever you're studying currently or whatever you think you're interested in. You're able to bring that into the space that you um, end up going into. So I always say it's great to step outside your comfort zone. You end up learning more than you think. 
and you end up actually knowing a lot more than you think too. Um, it's okay to not be, you know, it's okay to be undecided right now um, and kind of test the water, see what you like, but you shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be nervous because as an intern, um, everybody's nervous. Everybody's entering something that they're unfamiliar with. Um, so I always say you kind of just own your moment, be yourself and it'll fall into place for sure. I love that. I love that. Lacey, in your experience working for T-Mobile, what can the interns uh, take away from looking at from the management uh, perspective? Like, how can you like define that? Like for Lauren coming in, she came in from her experience, her user experience. Now, as a manager, a person who's over, you know, seeing so many bright, young, future talent, you know, what can you, what do you want to pour into them? Why is T-Mobile such a beautiful place to kind of get that experience? Yeah, I think that this is a great point because to your last question, it can be intimidating when you're entering a workforce for the first time, especially at a younger age, um, coming straight out of school, even if you don't have that experience, but we have a lot to learn from our interns. So I always learn a ton from the interns that we engage with. Um, I just was part of a presentation for one on Monday and I was blown away because there's so much new information, um, new application of things that the interns bring to the table that, you know, someone like me, that's maybe been in the role for a few years, it's a good fresh perspective. And it's a good way to maybe even challenge the way that we think. So as as somebody in a role for a few years, manager or not, you know, I think that what we can really take away from interns and what you have to bring is the value of a fresh perspective, um, fresh learnings. Um, you know, there's a lot that has changed. I'm not going to tell you how long ago I graduated from school, but <laughs> the, a lot has changed since I graduated from college and started my internship. And I think it's really great. Um, you have a different, an open mind and really a perspective that can change the dynamic of the team and um, maybe even change the trajectory of how work is being done. Uh, what's really cool about T-Mobile is that every generation is our customer. And so everybody working for our company can appeal to the senses and sensibilities of different generations, you know, in a different way. And a lot of our best ideas and our technology advancements have come from our interns um, that come and present projects that actually become um, programs for the company. Awesome. What kind of benefits do you guys offer for your interns? Is there besides the swag and, you know, being a part of many different opportunities? Is that just reserved for your early career employees or does um, your interns have some op options to, you know, benefit from some things from T-Mobile? Yeah, I can speak to this. Um, it's cool. Like you get treated like a real employee. Um, so I got PTO, I got paid time off, or I got uh, paid holidays. Um, I was able to invest in my 401k pretty early. Um, you get the gear, you get a discount um, on like different little things on our um, site. Um, those are just a few I can name, but it was really cool. The paid time off was really cool. Like I could take time off as an intern. You're only there for 12 weeks, but um, they give you some time to take off. And if you don't take it off, um, it gets added to your like check at the end of your 12 weeks, which is cool. Mm -hmm. And so those are just a few I can name. Lacey, if you have any on top of your head um, that you Competitive can Competitive pay. So that's like a big one. Oh, we yes. really differentiate ourselves from a lot of companies that just do like minimum pay or unpaid internships. You're paid for the job you're doing. So like the internships pay is different based on the job that you're getting brought into for the internship. So I really love and respect that because you have individuals that maybe are coming from a graduate program or an undergraduate program or recent grad they're going to be diff at different places in terms of their career and their level of profession. And so um, we pay for the job, which is pretty cool because, um, you know, there's not a flat fee for or a flat pay rate for the internships. You get paid for the job that you get hired into. Excellent. Excellent. Before we close out, I want to ask one more thing. Bianca, do you have a question um, before we, you know, go to the next segment real quick? 
No, I don't I don't have any questions. I just like to see that um everything is so diverse. I like this. I like to see the different faces up here. And when you guys when we do bring interns and in, you guys do bring interns and they get to see the different faces and the people representing your company, which I think is a really good thing. It's awesome. We want to make sure there's diversity in the companies that we are presenting to our, our students who represent demographics that are underrepresented. And um, it's good to see a company that is all in with NCRF and our internships and careers department. We have our uh, QR code that is on the screen, on my screen. You can see it. It's to our internships and careers page. You can go on to that, click on it, find T-Mobile at in within the webpage, and you can definitely find out all their amazing opportunities. And in addition, if you guys upload your resume to our talent recruitment center, powered by Matchplicity, you will have the opportunity to get access to internships and get the information right then, right there from T-Mobile. So please take advantage of this. We're starting our expo season strong. We have wonderful partners. T-Mobile has been there with us. Tell us again, Lacey, when does the open date enrollment uh, start for the internships and the closeout date? Yeah, so we're looking at October, November timeframe for the applications to come out and the goal is to have them closed by February. Okay. For a May and June start. Woo, that's, that's, that's huge. So you got to get now or it's too late. We'll reiterate this. You'll see this over and over again. We'll send out some information on all our platforms. Specifically, go to our Talent Recruitment Center on that QR code and sign up so you can get access to this information. Thank you. Thank you again, you guys. This has been wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you during our expo season. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Denise Parker, National College Resources Foundation Director of Internships and Careers. I'm super excited because we've been helping our students to get opportunities with our corporate partners and our sponsors to make sure they get internships and early career pipeline pathways into the jobs of their dreams. It's awesome because we're not just helping them with resume building and interview tips, but we're also helping them to figure out how their major is mixed into what they want to do in their passions for life. And it's fine a purpose. It's not just a job to build up skills, it's also to find their career journey. Not everybody knows what they want to do when they get older. Not everybody can figure it out along the way. It might take 20 years, it might take 15 years, it might take 5 years. But guess what? Our organization, NCRF, is here to help them, follow them through, to find that support that they need from the resources that we have from our wonderful corporate uh, partners. And I'm here to advocate for you as an internship and careers director.